Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer, and uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, we're going to do an exhibition match here. I've got uh, a few entries from Chromoid's Age of Sail tournament, and uh, all these entries have uh, been eliminated, so we're going to have a little fun and just do some exhibition matches. Um, the Age of Sail tournament is uh, inspired by, uh, as you might guess, sailing ships, so there's... Uh, part restrictions and that sort of thing to encourage uh, beautiful sailing vessels like this is the uh, the silver sails by Thompson and uh, not so not so beautiful vessels such as the uh, the oh, this isn't the this is the we enormous uh, by myself the Jimmer and uh, these two are going to face off here and uh, see if we can have a bit of a different, uh, bit of a different uh, battle. Um, I think uh, we both felt like our, our ships underperformed a little bit in that uh, that one battle that they got. Might might get some screen flicker here. I'm going to get the uh, make sure the music is uh, still going. Let's go. Let's go back to this. I'm probably going to get an ad. Apologies for the uh, the ad. I'm going to subject you to. All right, here we go. So now we got some uh, music. Oops, sorry for that uh, bit of screen flicker there. And uh, let's get this battle underway. Detection turned off. It's totally legit. <laughs> there we go. That's what we want. I don't think that will uh, make much difference here. It looks like both sides just kind of shooting one volley, so that that shouldn't really make a difference. They're still closing anyway. But uh, yeah, we definitely want the uh, the detection on there. Otherwise, these uh, these entries aren't going to be hitting anything. Oh, I just gotta say, it's it's so exciting to be recording. I had uh, a little bit of a scare there. My uh, power supply died, and uh, fortunately, I was able to replace it, and uh, didn't take anything else with it. So uh, we're able to run here and uh, record some videos. I was I was afraid my uh, my computer would be out out of commission for uh, a good couple weeks, or at least a week, uh, while I got uh, a new one new one built. A little bit. Uh, I mean, I'm noticing a little bit more lag. I turned off the uh, overclock on my processor just because I was worried that it was uh, not not boot it was not booting up. So uh, that's how I got it to uh, boot up. Is uh, turned off the overclock, and I am noticing a little bit of uh, lag from doing that. Of course, we do have a whole lot of blocks in play here, so that uh, probably has something to do with it. All right, looks like the uh, silver sails are encircling the Weenus. And here we go. That uh, 300 plus gun broadside unloading here. Looks like the uh, the silver sails also getting some shots off. Shots landing up in the sails. That uh, will do a lot of damage. Really slow down the uh, the Wee Enormous. Doesn't really look like the uh, the volley from the Wee Normus did a whole lot. You can see these guns are uh, fairly well armored. They're uh, recessed in. Something I, I definitely should have done. I, I just kind of went uh, went gun crazy, <laughs> if you will, and uh, just totally covered the uh, the entire side of my boat in guns. I just I just figured you know if, I, if you have enough guns, like you can you can do anything. But uh, I might might have gone a little overboard. Definitely uh, sinking here a little bit too. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, any damage. Just uh, maybe using the rudder a little bit too hard. These are sailing vessels, so those uh, those sails will put quite a bit of torque on your ship. And the the Wee Normus has a whole, a whole lot of them. There we go, getting some shots off there. 
Shots going both ways. And these little silver sides sure do pack a punch. Or uh, silver sails, excuse me. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to come through in the video, but the, the air is just filled with cannonballs. Just absolutely filled with cannonballs going both ways. Looks like flocks of birds or something. I, I really hope it comes through in the video. Yeah, the, the silver sails have the weenus completely encircled now. This side is basically untouched. It's able to get a uh, broadside with the uh, the port there. That could uh, that could be pretty devastating. You can see the uh, the starboard side. Losing some guns. Still got most of them, but I uh, probably lost like 10 or 15% of the guns on that side. Here the, uh, so the silver sail is uh, getting a good shot in. Coming right across the bow with that full broadside. Looks like the silver sails are all lined up now. So we're all uh, putting that uh, full broadside. They're in excellent position too, as there are no guns rear facing on the uh, Wee Normus. All the guns are either broadside and then there's a few forward facing guns as well. Here we go, Wee Normus getting turned around here, getting that uh, broadside off. Look, a lot of the shells are going high, taking out the sails. We got a uh, return broadside coming in from that uh, silver sails there. See the uh, the cannonballs coming across now. Yeah, sort of landing all across the side, taking out a few more cannons. 
see down under the water. Yeah, it looks like some damage. But uh, no holes quite yet. Silverside's getting really bunched up here. It doesn't look like they're uh, quite colliding, but uh, just kind of holding them real close to each other. It's actually, I think, a bad idea. They're, uh, it makes uh, the missed shots. If the uh, the weenus misses short or long, it's uh, still going to hit uh, an enemy here. But uh, it is it is suffering uh, a, a loss of a lot of guns. It's probably down to maybe half the uh, the guns it started with on this side. It does have a uh, full broadside on the other side though. If it's able to get uh, turned around, but I just don't think the uh, the AI is going to take advantage of that. There are so many cannonballs in the air. Let's get a uh, damage report. All right, looks like Silver Sides 83, 87, 92, Wee Normus at 92. So a, a pretty close battle. Looks like the Wee Normus is a little bit ahead right now, dropping dropping down to 91 there, but uh, not by much. Yeah, looks like the uh, Silver Sales have lost a lot of their sails. But uh, their their guns are uh, lasting a lot longer. They're not getting taken out uh, anywhere near as fast as the guns on the enormous.
All right, still a really close battle. Silver side, 78, 84, 91. We Normus at 89. So if you average those out, I mean, it's, it's pretty close. I think We Normus might have like a 1 or 2% lead, but uh, nothing, nothing really solid. It's still uh, either of these entries could win this battle. I'm going to let it go just a little bit longer, and then I think we'll uh, move on to the next battle. These uh, simple weapons and the sails, like, the, the, it seems like the sails the first thing to go, and then uh, both sides just kind of end up dead in the water. I mean, the, uh, the fight gets a lot less exciting. So it becomes a, a war of attrition, as uh, both sides just try and uh, take out each other's guns as fast as possible. Oh, and this this un uh, unused side, undamaged side, is now getting the uh, the broadside off here. I love how uh, as it turns and the guns come in range, there's just sort of a ripple of gunpowder or of uh, gunfire that uh, slides down the ship, and just an absolute rain of cannon shells here. Looks like fairly inaccurate, so only a, a scattering amount landing. See the uh, the cannon shells really raining in, and the uh, the silver sails surprisingly tanky, really not uh, taking a whole lot of damage um, from all those shells that were landing. All right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one here. Doesn't look like it's gonna come to a conclusion anytime soon. <clears throat> Both sides still uh, duking it out. See, the this side of the enormous is pretty much stripped of cannons, except for maybe you know 20% remaining. The front end's looking pretty good, and this side is pretty much undamaged. 
But the uh, the silver sails are over here on this side, uh, taking shots in um, on the uh, on the damage side, which is probably the the best strategy, um, hoping to uh, break through. But it's going to take them a while to get through the uh, the stone armor on the Weenormous, and the the Weenormous isn't going to be doing any damage to them. It has uh, no guns. Looks like it'll probably slowly take out this guy. But still, its its guns just aren't getting taken out. Uh, that little bit of uh, sloping on there, that sloped armor, um, really keeping those guns alive through a whole lot of cannon shells. So let's get a, a damage report here. All right, silver side, 73, 74, 84. Um, and the Weenormous at 85. So it looks like the Weenormous is uh, slightly ahead, but uh, not by much. So... Uh, I'm not going to call a, uh, a winner or a loser on this one. We'll just leave it as it is, as a, uh, a battle to be decided. But uh, that'll be decided another time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart this. And we'll have a, a, another battle here um, in this episode. Um, we're going to have the, uh, the Derpy Tickle Square. For uh, those of you who... Um, Remember the uh, the pirate ship tournament that I held a while back. Um, you'll remember Mr. Mr. Twitchy Hugs, and I believe the uh, the Derpy Derpy Twickle Tickle Square, excuse me, is its uh, spiritual successor. So let's get that uh, spawned in here. This is by Falcon Two Five Six. See uh, those uh, those ticklers on there. You, uh, you don't want you don't want them to uh, get anywhere near your ship. And then these little uh, defensive cubes here. Interesting idea. All right, and then uh, we'll get the uh, we enormous spawned in. A uh, distance away. Too far. All right, let's get this sped up and uh, get the battle underway. So the uh, the Turk the <laughs> the tickle square is obviously going to come over here for some uh, tickling. I'm curious to see how that uh, plays out. The uh, the Weenormous does have um, rams and rubber blocks all around its uh, perimeter, so I'm not sure if that's going to protect it or not. Those are some uh, serious ticklers there. Tickle Square looks a little bit slow for uh, what it's designed to do. Just make sure I spawn these. Yeah, the wind blows south. So I, blew, I, I spawn them you know, facing each other so they should have uh, an equal amount of wind. Oops, that's not the right button. There we go. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not slow, but uh, I think it's uh, it would have a hard time in actually closing in on a uh, a faster opponent. We'll see if it's able to uh, catch the uh, the weenus here. The weenus looks like it's coming right in for the hug. Some uh, cannon shells look like those are going against this little uh, square here, the defense square. What is this guy called again? The spinning splue cube. <laughs> All right. Oh, looks like indeed we are going to have some uh, collisions here. And you get that little bit of lag right before the collision happens. Let's see how this plays out. Don't smoke meth, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Hulk Hogan, sir. Oh, there we go. And uh, looks like those collisions are ending up being ram on ram, mostly. It's like some damage right here. But uh, not not sawing through. The, uh, the enormous.
Looks like the Weenormous is still firing at the, uh, the Splue Cube. <laughs> yeah, the Splue Cube. Not able to get a broadside off, though. Let's see, uh, oh, there we go. Looks like, uh, that Tickler's starting to, uh, do some damage, too. Oh, getting, uh, flipped over here. Let's see, uh, if the, uh, the Weenormous can get a broadside off, it'll, I think it'll do quite a bit of damage. And there we go, starting to uh, get turned enough to use those broadside cannons. But really being shut down by the, uh, with the uh, Tickle Square. And the Tickle Square is not doing a lot of damage to it, but it's uh, keeping it from, you know, getting that broadside lined up. I love, I love the poster. <laughs> yes. So there's uh, cannons up here shooting down. It looks like the uh, the weenus is turned enough, but uh, I think I don't think with it being underwater it has a good angle to uh, attack the uh, this blue cube. I think the blue cubes might be too far. Are they firing? They're pretty far away. Yeah, I don't I don't know as if they're firing. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're getting a few shots off. Looks like that uh, that tickler is going right through the bow there. Yeah, pretty pretty big hole in the front of the boat. And uh, I think more importantly, just kind of pushing the weenus or the weenormous down in the water. Oh, that was a good hit right there. Bunch of uh, cannons stripped off. Oh oh oh! It's happening! It's happening! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. My computer is freaking out. Uh, we have an uh, ammo store detonation. And uh, that's really lagging things out right now. it <laughs> oh so laggy so so laggy
Let's get a damage report here. All right, Splu Q is 100%. Tickle Square, 96%. We Enormous all the way down to 73%, just getting torn apart by those Tickle Arms. Oh, and there we go, despawning. Or maybe not, just a... Yeah, there we go, two damaged. And despawning. So, congratulations to Falcon256, able to defeat the, uh... Weenus, or the, uh, Weenormus handily there. And, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, thanks for sending in your designs. It was, uh, fun to have a little... A little exhibition match here. I uh, put a lot of time into that stupid Wienormus, and uh, 
it uh it did pretty terribly but uh it was fun uh, it was fun having a little battle with you guys i hope you guys uh, just watching enjoyed the video um if you did go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next one